Hello friends, good evening. In this video, what we will do is we will install the Windows 2019 server that I want to convert as a domain controller in order to set up this lab. Consider this as a third video in the series. So in order to save the time what I did is I have already installed the Windows 2019 server. Only thing is I need to assign the IP address and uh, rename the server and do so, some of the small small configurations. I can say and then I'll have to install the uh, feature where I can convert the server into a domain controller okay we'll see that so let's go to the server the server has been already applied and it's power on let me log in what happened okay There you go. I forget the password. I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go. All right, the server is ready. Let me see what it has. Chrome is installed. Okay, fine. Close it. The CPU. Out. Yes, let me disable the firewall service. Okay, it's power off. It's gonna be off. It's gonna be off. Apply. Okay, and then <coughs> excuse me, computer management. RDP. Here you go. Remote desktop. It's all in there. Okay, perfect. Then I'll change the server name. Windows ADDC in workgroup. Done. Close this off. Restart. Give it a minute. Okay, so it's back online. Now, what we will do is we'll uh, install the domain controller feature. I'm sorry, we'll enable the domain controller feature. Let's see. Manage, add and rules and features. Okay, still it is loading, add rules and feature. Next, next. I'll go next. Active directory domain services add. Next. It's fine. Group policy. Alright. So what we'll do is we'll wait for a few minutes and see if that's it's completed. Okay, and I'll just minimize this as it's gonna take some time. And what I'll do is I'll deploy one more virtual machine. Okay, file server dot cloud dot com. Right. I hope I wanted to explain all these things as we have already. Explained in the previous videos. Next, create a virtual disk and I'll take 40 GB, not required. Yeah, 40 GB as it is file server and fine. Okay, continue. And just remove the file. Floppy and then <coughs> boot options. 
here I'll have to give some boot delay finish it off so file server has been created power on and open console escape then all I lose I'll have to mount the CD where it is so 19 here it goes Sorry. Yeah. Let it be. That will always reboot in some time. Or else I'll just simply reset. See, it has been unmounted. Not an issue. Or else I'll remount once again. Just escape. Connect an ISO. This ISO. And then come down. CD. Right, it will load the files. Just keep that aside and let's go to the Windows Domain Controller and see if it is completed or not. Yeah, feature is successfully installed. Perfect. And then close. Now I need to configure the domain controller. This server, I need to promote this as a domain. Oh. This is my new forest. That's okay. Get the password. The NS delegations. Enable. That will automatically pick the net BIOS name after some time. Show you with, with the Active Directory database, log files, and this volume is going to deploy. If you want, you can change the alternate path. All right, this is script. Done. Next, they're going to verify it and it will promote this particular virtual machine as a domain controller and it will install all the enable all the features and then it's going to reboot. So here are the steps how we're gonna configure it and use that as a domain controller okay we'll have to wait for some time because this is deploying and it's gonna be a domain controller for our lab okay I'll minimize once the domain controller is completely deployed and gets rebooted we'll, we'll log in and we'll close this video session Right. Meanwhile, I'll go back and prepare the lab for next session. That is my file server. We'll see where we are now with the file server. Here you go. Minimize. Okay. Anyways, mouse won't, won't work. Right, I miss. Let's see. Accept next and then so advanced. Select 40 GB which we have allocated. Done. It will take a while to copy the files and deploy it. So meanwhile what I'll do is I'll deploy one more. Let me see if I have a 2008 operating system or image ready in my data store or else I should have 2008 server 2008, 2008 SQL Windows 2012 is there but it's 8 is not there fine let me go back and find out downloads This. Let's see, 2019, 2019. Oh my god, there is no ISO. That's fine. Let me get my external hard 
drive here you go let's copy it and paste it on desktop don't worry it's going to take some time again yeah my domain controller server is ready and what is the IP that's TSC 192.168.40.2 right once the system is completely up then So here you go, your Active Directory Domain Controller server. We're going to take some time to load the policies initially. Okay, I'll just close this off. <coughs> Once this image gets copied, then I'll show you how to deploy that image in VMware and we'll log in into the domain controller and then we'll close this session okay this is going to be a mixed session they can be patient and then in the next session i will show you how to how to uh, configure the file shares and all and also we'll see how these servers can be added into the domain controller as uh, computers and then we'll configure the uh, windows admin center and proceed with the migrations okay this is the plan so let me see if the server is readily available to see how it is working. Still loading, so give it a minute. So the file server is going to take a while. What I'll do is I'll deploy my 2008 R2 machine. Okay, go to desktop. Here you go. Next, All right? So file server I'll put initially L means legacy right just for naming convention sake cloud.com I'll put it on SSD okay thin provisioning I'll put it on VLAN 40 again Let's wait. How much time is going to take? So this is taking a while, and this is taking a while. I cannot do anything until this completes. Only thing is recording some unnecessary things in in this video, but still, I hope this will helpful. Or else. Just give me a minute. See, it's taking a time. So, let me pause the video for some time. I guess it's not pausing. I'm not getting any beep. Okay. What else I can do? This fully overloaded machine. Let me go to the summary and see. Not, not fully. I still have plenty of space to run the virtual machines, but I'm not sure. Might be I/O is fully utilized because I'm parallelly deploying two machines, right? So that is the reason why it is taking huge time to deploy the virtual machine as an image. <coughs> it's really increasing, increasing, five percent. Normally it will take more than 5 minutes in 2012 and 16. I'm not sure it's the first time I'm deploying it on Windows 2019, so I'll have to be patient. So I'll recommend 
watch this video on 2xp then YouTube so that it will be easy for you to understand because there is no lot of stuff in the video but it's gonna be a delayed stuff ah, here we go Here you go, my domain controller, nothing in it, and I have my domain controller. So I'll simply what I'll do is I'll pour on the SMS server. Give me a minute. Okay. Enough. All right. I'm sorry. What I have mentioned here. Uh, let me go on the side. Completed. In progress. All right. That is what I'm doing here. In progress. So in the next two videos, or in the next video, I'll try to configure both of these. Okay. And in addition to this, what I'll lose anyway is going to be a long video, so I'll also show you how to add small step, how to add Windows Server into AD domain. Simple question, so I'll simply log in and show you quickly. So I'll open a console. I don't think the system is completely up. Still, lo still loading because I'm damn sure the it might be due to IO. Nothing is running. Only three servers. Really, really, yeah. Let's stuck at 24, and it is also still booting, booting, booting. Not sure, give it a minute. Okay, cool. It's taking too much time than I expected. This has completed for at least one server. So mark this completed earlier. But I hope this will come up and I'll be able to join this array to domain. I should cancel one of the deployment so that it will improve the performance. Otherwise, it will be continue to revolving like a roller coaster. should get one more server for these kind of lab recordings finally here you go <coughs> so 
couple of things I need to do on the inside the server in order to add the Windows Server into a domain controller. Let me quickly show you that. Hey, respond to me, please. Right. I cannot do anything. I'll have to be patient. Okay, go to public domain, which I have already shown you in the last class how to create the theming. Go to properties. Hey, come on, please. Yeah, it is already given. Oh, I'm pre planned. Okay, now let it come up at least. Okay, here we go. Properties. settings change domain Letter missing. Apologies. This E is missing in the domain controller. Let's control this is my domain. <coughs> Alright, so maybe our cloud. Right, welcome to domain. I'm done. Close. Restart. Cool. I'm done. Let me come and refresh here under computers. Just refresh. You'll see SMS server. Okay, I'll stop here, guys. I hope this will help you to understand how you're gonna configure the domain controller and add the clients into the domain controller. I I'm hundred percent sure that it's gonna be a boring video. I'm I'm I really really sorry but I'll try to make some more good videos going forward thank you